All right, we're rocking pythons. We're about to code some Python. What we've got today is a quick introduction, as you, as you might, be able to, might be able to read, a quick introduction to list comprehensions with Python. And now, just a quick reminder, there's a blog post that's gonna accompany this and a YouTube video. You don't need that link, that'll be below. All this code will be available on GitHub. In fact, all the links I mention throughout this video will be available in the description, so you can check those out. Now let's jump in, we'll start with why. Why would you use a list comprehension? Now, the best reason I can give you, or the one line version, is to get the same thing done in less lines of code. Now, if you have a better version of that, leave a comment below and I can update it. But at the moment, after the research I've done and, and my use of list comprehensions in the wild, and really in the wild, I mean, just sitting at my desk coding Python, has literally been just to, just to reduce the number of lines of code. Now, that's good enough, that's well and good to say out loud. Let's see an example. Now, say you were shopping at the math store, right? Because all of us coders, we, we, love, we love math and we love numbers. And we've got a shopping cart here, and our shopping cart is, it happens to be a list full of numbers. Now, a Python list, remember, is these square brackets here. And we've got about a dozen or so numbers in there. So, we'll create that. And now we've had enough shopping, we're gonna to go to the cashier and we're gonna to start to, to hand our, our numbers to the cashier one by one. Now, how would you do that with code? Now, first of all, we have to create our cashier because they, the computer doesn't know that the cashier exists. So the cashier starts with zero items and they're gonna be an empty list. So remember, the square brackets. And then, how would you pass each item one by one? We can do that with, with a for loop in Python. So for item in cart, go over each item one by one. Okay, so that's, this is our cart here and there, um, these could be our, our items. Yep, that makes sense. And then this little, little line here, we hand the cashier each item. And now just a quick reminder, if you see anything with a hash uh, in Python, usually the words after it uh, is a comment. So that means when we run this, this little bit of code, the words after the hash won't be included. So, so for item in cart, cashier.append, and then in brackets is that item. Hmm, so you can imagine that as we're us handing the cashier item. So what do you think that will do? If we're going through each item one by one, right, and then appending the cashier, you can think of append as, as add, add item to, to the cashier's list, what do you think will happen if we print out cashier? Right, we've handed them each item. Let's, let's check it out. All right, so now cashier has been transformed from that empty, empty list and now they have the same as, is it the same as cart? Yeah, there's cart up there and cashier. All right, so we've essentially just gone through our cart, which is this, this list here and handed the cashier each one, so now they have it, right? But because we've created cashier, it also seems like we still have it in our cart, right? So, so they still exist in the cart, but cashier also has them now too. And this is a, this is a, this is a Python, um, Python shopping store, right? So it's not, not a real life one. We, we both have the same items now. I just realized this might be uh, not the greatest analogy, but we'll, we'll run with it. Now, how could you do this? We've done this in three lines of code. How could you do this in, in less, right? So remember, that's our why of using a list comprehension, to do the same thing in less lines of code. So we've got here cashier two, and they're in the express checkout lane. They only they say, no, they're in our Python math store, and they say, no, you can't come to me unless you've only got one line of code. We're like, okay, we can do that. We're gonna use a list comprehension for that. Now, I've written it out here, right? So Let's have a think. We've got the square brackets here, but we're all doing it on one line. Is this gonna, is this gonna be the same thing? We've got cart, cart's up here. Let's check. All right, we've created cashier two. Surely this can't be the same as the three lines above. Let's check it out. If in doubt, check it out. All right, we've got two lists here. So the first one is cashier and the second one is cashier two. So we've got, they're, they're exactly the same, but what's happening? 
Now, I've got this, this pretty little graphic here, right, to describe what's going on, but if you want the instructions, they'll be in the, in the GitHub repo, the code below. But I think it's better if we just, we just explore this by, by talking it out. Now, we've got cache here. It's created an empty list, right, in a non-list comprehension, and that's in blue. And the same step over here is done in the list comprehension in blue. All right, that looks the same, but there's some stuff in the middle of the brackets this time. And then we've got four item in car, all right? That's the same in the green here. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But the main difference here is in the red, right? We've got cashier.append item, but over here we only have the word item. Hmm, what, why do you think this is? Well, the main reason you can think about for now is that if the item is in front of the for loop, right, it negates the reason Negates the, negates the need for having a pend here. So what essentially this, us putting the item before the for instead of after, is that we've pretty much said, hey, we're gonna do this little part here in one step rather than, rather than making it its own line, all right? Let's jump into another example. So the third cashier only likes working with even numbers. Now how can we do that? Right, so we could do it the same above, but we might check, we might check, we might add in a conditional, that's our little if statement here, add in a conditional to see if the item modulo 2 equals 0. Right, now what's, what's modulo? Well, modulo it says, essentially means remainder. Is the remainder, does the remainder equal 0? So if we divided 20 modulo 2, where is it, percentage, modulo 2, what does that equal? 0. Right, so 20 is an even number, and what about 4? Four? 4 is an even number, that makes sense. And what about 5? That's going to be 1 left over, right? Because 5 divided by 2 is, is 2 with 1 left over. All right, so we'll get rid of that one. Now, cashier 3 equals another empty list. We've seen that before. And then 4 item in cart. Remember, we've, got our, we've still got our cart here. We'll check that. Cart. Yep, that's our cart. And then if the item, this is the, the difference here, if the item modulo 2 equals 0, we're going to append that. So what do you think cashier 3 will look like? If we got 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, 15, 19, 20, which ones will be in cash, which ones will we pass to cashier 3? Even numbers, all right? Boom. Does that make sense? We got 10, 12, 20, 22, all right? 5, 7, 9, they're all odd. That makes sense. Now, how could we do the same thing? We've got four lines now, four lines with a list comprehension. All right, so let's check it out. We've got cashier three equals list, create a list with these little square brackets. See how in Jupyter it lines, makes this one green? That one's green and now that one's green too. So item for item in cart, if item modulo two equals equals zero. All right, same thing. We've got cashier three, cashier three. Now what? What's happening here? Again, we've got the instructions down below if you want to read them, but we're going to talk through it. Blue in the non-list comprehension, we've got cashier 3 equals an empty list, yep. And now we're doing the same thing here. Now we've got green is the same again, okay. And yellow is the, yellow is the same too, and now the only difference again is just this little, little append item. So we've got all components of these four lines, but we've put it in one line. Now, can you start to see how, how that would help in your Python programs? Imagine if, if this was, was maybe another 10 lines and you had a fair few of them, and then you replace them with this, you could start to reduce the amount of code you need to do the same thing. Now, we might do one more, one more example, and then I'll leave the rest. I've put some more challenges in here. You can, you can check them out for yourself. We'll do one more example, and then, then we'll finish up the video. So the fourth cashier only accepts over a hundred, numbers over a hundred and odd. All right, how would you change each of the numbers in cart before giving them to cashier four? So we've got, we've got our shopping cart and we wanna to go to cashier four, but they only accept numbers over a hundred and, and if they're odd. Let's, let's figure this out. Remember we've got our cart here. Let's check that out. Cart, five, seven, yep, same cart. Cashier four equals empty list, four item in cart. We're gonna add 100 to each item, all right? So because our cashier four only accepts each item, so we've got a line there. 
And now then we're gonna check if the item modulo two equals equals one. And this, will, this will tell us, remember, if it equals zero, it's an even number. If it equals one, it's an odd number. And then we're gonna pass, if it fulfills that condition, we're going to pass that item to cashier four. Now let's check out, what does cashier four have? All right, 105, 107, 109, 115. Are they over 100 and, and are they odd? Yeah, they are. And now can you see what it's done? It's gone through each item, added 100, and then checked if it's odd. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so seven is 107, nine is 109, 10 would be 110, but that's not an odd number. So cashier four doesn't, cashier four's like, no, nah, only accept over 100 and odd numbers. All right. Now we're gonna do the same thing with a list comprehension. Can we, cashier four equals, remember if we, we go up here, we just have to convert this part into something that looks like this. So let's do it line by line. Let's go, we might take this little part out and put it at the start. So item plus 100, four item, so now we're up to here, four item in cart, we don't need the, the semicolon. Um, and then we might take this one. So we could probably just copy that. Copy that. All right. Do you think that will work? Let's check it out. Print cashier four. What have we got wrong? Four item in cart. Oh. We forgot the in. Perfect, is it the same? There we go. That's how we can do it, right? And so now, this is another example. This one was five, one, two, three, four, five. Five lines and we've converted it into one. Now I've got a few more examples that I've put in here if you wanna check out and even a little challenge that's a bit more advanced if you wanna try it. And if you get stuck on the challenge, there's a link to a staff, Stack Overflow. And then if you, now this is only just a brief introduction of what you can do with list comprehensions. There's far, far more things, but I just wanted to show you uh, a quick example of, of some of the powerful, powerful things that you can do with list comprehensions in just, just one line of code. And now if you want something more advanced, there's an article, I'll link it all below. But otherwise, I'm gonna wrap this tutorial up. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any advice, if you spotted any errors, leave a, leave a comment below or, or reach out to me somehow, any way you want. But keep rocking pythons, keep learning. We'll see you next time.